Hi, everybody. I have been getting some questions on how to beta test transform. So I thought I would just come on and share a few things that I learned by beta testing and some of my tips. Now, um, you can kind of do whatever you want. Some people just started taking the product. I chose to do measurable results using a glucose monitor. So I'm going to speak about how I did it and a few tips along the way. So um, the first thing I recommend is if you are going to beta test, um, the way I did is to be at home in routine. So I chose to start on a Monday and I did four days of using no product, then the product, no product, then the product. And I did it exactly how um, was, was recommended, which is two capsules 30 minutes before you eat. And then um, after my four days, you can play around with one capsule, two capsules. Um, I chose to use a Libra 2, which is a monitor that goes on your arm. A few tips on that, make sure you exfoliate, make sure you put it sort of on the back of your arm rather than the side of your arm so it doesn't hit on things. And there's lots of great YouTube videos on how to put them on. It doesn't hurt, it's super easy. They last 14 days. And then you just tap and scan your glucose. So what I did was I put my glucose monitor on, I calibrated for 24 hours, and then I started my beta test. I did 10 days and four of those days I was doing with and without the transform capsule. So after the 24 hours where it calibrated, I chose to do a reading every hour um, day one. And this is going to give you a really good idea of when your glucose spikes and, you know, what your blood sugar sugars are. And once again, you can Google what are normal blood sugar levels. And uh, the cool thing is the Libra 2, if you're in Canada, you can get it over the counter at Walmart. It's about $90. And then it comes with this really cool app called Libra 2. And all you do is hit scan and take the reading. So I did every hour um, for four days. And then I did every couple hours after that. So the first day I ate three meals, I chose something with sugar in it so I could see those spikes. Um, Scott talked about the pancakes. I personally did something that I would eat, just making sure there was some sugar in there. So I did peaches, yogurt, um, granola, and then I think I had salad and um, something for lunch. And then I had pizza or pasta for dinner. So I did that the first day I did no product. And then the second day, all I did was take two transform 30 minutes before I ate. And once again, I was checking my glucose levels every hour just to see what they did. The cool thing about the Libra 2 is it has a logbook, So you can actually see what your levels were on each day that you're beta testing. And it also has um, averages, graphs, really cool data um, that you can use for your own beta test. So that is what I chose to do. And it was a really cool learning experience just to know about my own blood sugar when it spikes. And like any of our products, everybody's body reacts a little bit differently. So you're going to find out, you know, some interesting things about your blood sugar and, um, how many capsules is optimal for you. So once again, my beta test, I did two before each meal. Um, the first day I did um, no product, then I did product. And it was day one, I had measurable results. The other thing I recommend and that I did was I weighed myself. If you don't like to weigh yourself, you can also measure yourself. Um, that way I could see if I released some weight, which I did. So those are some of my tips on the beta test. Um, I also got some band-aids and cut out a hole and put it over my monitor. You can also do it with a prick test. Um, once again, you can get it over the counter at a pharmacy. 
minutes. That one just is a little more time consuming, but it absolutely works. And you can collect data that way as well. And then, you know, just to make note, how are you feeling? Do you have more energy? Do you feel, feel, feel more full? So some of the things I experienced was I felt more full. Um, and once again, because you're, you're doing the same meal both days, I felt that I was more full with the product. Um, I also had pretty good energy on the product and, um, I did release some weight. So I'm excited to try it again. Now that we're in the school year, I was doing a beta test in the summer where we were kind of doing lots of different activities. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my beta test, some of my tips for the beta test. So once again, I did four days, so two days, um, with product, two days without different meals. So I could see different ways my body reacted. And then after that, I just took um, the product as designed for the rest of my beta test. Once again, doing a um, scan every hour or every two hours um, in between those meals. So I got some really good data. And then after that, I just took the product and um, really just noticed how I felt. And I weighed myself at day five and day seven. So you can collect your own measurable data that way. So that those are my tips for the um, beta test. If you want to do your own beta test, um, if you have any questions, you can reach out. Once again, everybody's bodies are a little bit different. Um, and so it's going to be a little bit different for everyone. Okay, thanks for tuning in.